lesson 96. This one is on difference of two squares theorem. Theorem. Okay. So for example, I'm just going to do three examples, but here's what that means. Here's what we're doing. P squared equals 16. Now, the P doesn't matter. It could be X squared equals 16. It doesn't matter. Okay? But just like I've taught you to try to get your X by itself. Okay? And so if I was doing 5 plus X equals 10, to get the X by itself, we would take plus 5, bring it across the equal and make it minus 5. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, with squares, what you do is... In order to get the x by itself, this square, what's the opposite of um, squaring it, is square rooting it. So, for example, 8 squared is 64, and 64 is 8. Square root of 64 is 8. So these are opposites of each other. This is the opposite of that. Yeah. So, if I want to get the x by itself, when I move this square across the equal sign, it actually does that. Yeah. Right? So now this says x equals square root of 16. The answer is 4. Yeah. Okay, but I also want you to notice what is negative 4 times negative 4 still gives us a positive answer because two negatives, an even number of negatives makes a positive. So it's a positive 16. So on this answer, you would say x equals not only positive 4 but also negative 4. And that's the way the book wants you to write it. Mm -hmm. Now, we weren't doing X, we were actually doing P, but I just wanted you to see that it doesn't matter what letter they choose, it's still the same thing. So the answer would be P plus negative 4. Alright, let's do two more because they get a little bit harder. Um, the next one is this, P squared equals 41. Now hopefully you realize this is a prime number and absolutely nothing will go into it. Okay, so again we want to get the P by itself. So to take this across the equal, I'm going to take that, okay? And I can't figure out what times what equals 41. So my answer is square root of 41. But, again, so just, like, just like the plus and negative 4, the plus and a negative 41. So this goes on the outside, just so you know. Plus and negative square root of 41. See that? Mm -hmm. All right. And then the last one. All right? Here's what it says. K squared equals 13. All right? And then, again, we want to get K by itself, so this square comes about the equal. It makes the square root. So then K equals square root of 13. And again, same as that. Nothing will go into 13 twice, the same number. So it's plus negative, um, positive negative um, square root of 13. And that's lesson 96.